An asteroid only recently discovered is passing incredibly close to Earth tomorrow. It's a space rock so big it would cause widespread destruction if it hit. But astronomers say this tricky Halloween visitor is actually a wonderful treat. Our science correspondent Bob McDonald joins us from Victoria. So Bob, this asteroid is being called the Great Pumpkin. <laughs> What's so great about it? <laughs> well, Wendy, I guess if you took a pumpkin and you inflated it to the size of 400 meters, it's almost half a kilometer across, and you threw it out into space, traveling many times faster than a bullet, that'd be a pretty great pumpkin. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's what this thing is that's going by. As you say, it's not going to hit us, but it is going to go just beyond our moon, uh, 480,000 kilometers from here. And the scientists see it as a free mission to an asteroid because it came to us. So what they're going to do tomorrow is they're going to point some of the largest radio telescopes we have on the planet at this thing and bounce radio waves off it. They're going to bounce microwaves and radar waves and in the same way that the police uh, sort of bounce radar to get your speed, they'll be able to calculate where this thing is going, whether it's rotating, and they'll actually be able to see details on its surface, like rocks, right down to a few meters across. Maybe even it has a moon. So it's just an opportunity to look at one of these things close up without having to build an expensive uh, rocket and space mission to go out and visit them. Or get too close. It, isn't right. it kind of scary that we didn't see this coming? Like, should we be worried about other asteroids that may be next? Yeah, this one came from a weird place. It came from underneath our solar system. Most asteroids come from the same plane that we are between Mars and Jupiter, but this one came from below where we're not really looking too hard for asteroids. So maybe we should start paying a little more attention to this area of space because we know there's a lot more out there. Well, thanks so much, Bob. But before you go, congrats. It's the 40th anniversary of CBC's radio's Crooks and Quarks. You weren't there 40 years ago, though, were you? <laughs> uh, no, I've only been there 23. <laughs> well, congrats anyway. Thanks so much. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Bob. Bob McDonald, our science correspondent in Victoria.